Okay, guys. So we got some products from Kazir, Skin House, and XY Cost. So we got them, and we're going to be using them for seven days. First minute of this video is going to be a voiceover because my video wasn't recording any audio. But as you can tell, I was just showing you what the toner was looking like. This is the serum, and then this one is the Snail Musing Vitamin C cream moisturizer and has like vitamin c capsules in it all right and then i'm just showing you how it looks and so forth but you know i'm gonna apply it to my skin now this is day one of me using the products this one is the cleanser because as you can see we didn't really show you the texture of the cleanser this one is similar to the xy cost um sika green uh with spirulina and all of that jazz cleanser similar like the same you seen that cleanser in my is it the last month's um skincare empties if you want to go and check it out go and check it out this is basically the same thing the only thing that's different with this is it has vitamin c in it and it has mandarin peel and a lot of orange and those kind of peel and it has like uh an orange uh fragrance okay the fragrances that are actually in this cleanser are not necessarily artificial fragrances, I would say. They're more like extracts. But they have it or it has a smell, a really strong orangey smell. But it smells good. But anyway, we're going to start. This is day one, as I said before. I'm going to shut up now because it's time for me to start actually talking. Because the one minute, this portion of me recording this part wasn't recording and all of that. Yeah. And we started using the toner. This one is the hyaluronic acid toner. I started applying it to my skin. And I was just talking about how it felt. Felt really nice and hydrating and all that jazz. But no audio. Okay, guys. I'm mean, talking, talking, talking. But I'm going to share with you anyway. Like the clips of me applying the skincare products. So I was talking away. Good thing I was at the toning section. So I was just talking bit mainly about the toner and uh, how it is it has a nice smell as opposed to this one as I, and i was saying like this this company you know what i'm gonna do a voiceover just because i don't know like since why did the video stop recording or it wasn't recording because the mic wasn't plugged in i'm so crazy but anyway i was saying the cleanser is very nice it has a nice little tangerine mandarin orangey flavor and the toner has fragrance and a lot of good in ingredients so just note all right so we went in and we tone and so forth cleanse cleanse with this cleanser and then we went in with the Kazir. This one is from the Skin House. And this one is from Kazir. So Skin House, Kazir. So these are the two products that we got. Should I show the toner? Yes. These are the two products that we've used so far. And part of the video, the audio was like, oh my gosh. But anyway, now we're going to go in with the XY Cost. This is supposed to be the Sika Green Serum. And this is supposed to help with controlling sebum and it's also calming and soothing your skin so i i think it should be good so see we have kazir we have skin house and we have xy cost so i'm telling you this is a group of companies but this is what the serum looks like it's supposed to be a calming sebum control oil controlling serum so i guess it's supposed to have nice in my does it i think it does maybe not nice in my but it has a lot of calming soothing ingredients that are supposed to help with you know calming the skin and it also has fragrance so every single thing that we're using right now has fragrance that's the only little shortcoming for me is the one bag of fragrance i don't really like too much fragrance fragrance on my skincare you know just because acne prone skin oily skin skin sensitive skin not everybody can use products with fragrance not all the time like do fragrance affect me but i prefer if they don't have fragrance and i just got this i'm not sure what this is i think it's just irritation or something but whenever i get them that these little weird pimples i know that maybe it's just from product because i'm trying i tried a new product a couple weeks ago right here my face got irritated and <laughs> so I'm, i think maybe I'm thinking maybe it's the fragrance I don't know 
but my skin is irritated right here right here it's irritated and right here is irritated so but anyway we are using the products to see what it's all about so we'll see we'll see what it's all about all right so as i said before i'm gonna try these products for seven days so we'll see what happens to our skin but even though we're gonna try these four products for seven days we're not gonna like i'm not gonna like try try the products for like seven what are this you know i'm not gonna try these products just the four of them by themselves for seven days like i'm gonna use my acne prone ingredients for example i'm going to use my azelaic acid in the morning i'm going to use my elascorbic powder i'm going to use my alpha arbitin and my caffeine solution so for the seven days we're going to be using these four ingredients that i usually use and along with my pimple patches just in case you know because i want to try products out but i don't want to like my i don't want my skin to be like damaged or anything in the process all right so the next thing that we're going to be using so we've used three of the ingredients or of the products so far the next thing i'm going to go in with is wood uh, this here my alpha arbutin all right so we're just going to take it right here right here okay so this is us i hope it doesn't ball up or anything this is a skin now we're gonna go in with a moisturizer so this one is from the same skin house yes yeah, so we have two products from skin house one products from X XY class and then the other one from Kazir so right so this is the moisturizer I'm gonna open it right now Are you? all right so this is what the moisturizer is looking like it's snail mucin of course so it's very nice and gooey yeah so we're just going to use they gave us a like a scoop I'm gonna use this much uh, I'm gonna use this much and it has some little beads some like capsule I think they are like vitamin C capsule in them see can I hope you can see can't really see but when I rub it in they basically burst so I'm just going to apply this to my face right now just to hydrate the skin and so forth but it feels so nice I like to spend time to just do my skincare this gives me a, put, puts me in a good mood right and I just apply some around the neck right and then that's it guys I'm gonna come back to you in I'm not gonna film like every day my skincare every day or whatever I think I want to do it like every other day right now it's day one so I'm gonna show you a day three then day four day five then i'm going to have day six day seven so i'm going to show you four times in the course of a week what my skin is looking like all right but this is it for now this is it for now this is my skincare routine let me just put everything but yes guys this is my skin right now this is how it looks as you can tell this is the side of my face this is the front the next side as i said i have a little thing right here but we are gonna go in with our azelaic acid and i'm gonna put it right here and then put a pimple patch over it just so you know i don't know what that is but this is it this is our skin so far i don't want to put, put pimple patch just now because i want you to have an idea of what my skin is looking like but this is my skin nice and fresh and glowy so i'll see you in the next one 
share with you a little update on my skin and how I feel and so forth. But yeah, guys, see you later on, okay? Okay, okay, guys. So this was day four. And as you can see, this was the morning. I just removed my pimple patches. I'm sure you could see like from the last time that we did it on, when was that, Sunday? Thursday, Sunday, Jody. On Thursday, when I got the products and started using them, I had like an irritation on my nose. And I also have this blockade at the top of my forehead on my forehead so i've been trying to treat that and i want to pop the blockade but i because of my experiences i know i'm not gonna touch it i'm just gonna allow it to heal in it usually takes like two to three weeks to heal so i just wanted to heal by itself without me touching it so i'm just applying the products as you can see it's been four days my skin hasn't been irritated or anything and as i said before these products have um fruit extracts and uh, the toner has fragrance and my skin is not irritated because my skin doesn't get irritated by fragrance so i know pro i know when products affect my skin and so forth after the first day second day third day i will know if the skincare products are going to irritate my skin but anyway we used everything moisturizer we use a toner we use a cleanser we used everything <laughs> and uh, this is basically day number four um, I'm just gonna play some music sit and watch and then day number seven I'll come back to you and tell you what you know everything is about Okie dokie guys, yes, again in the morning, day number 7, we just went ahead and uh, did our skincare routine as I said before, and uh, this is my skin, it's not irritated, one thing I will say guys, is that the product is very, my skin is very hydrated, that's one thing I would say, my skin feels different, it feels hydrated, it doesn't feel thick, it doesn't feel like a lot of oil is under my chin and so forth, that's what I was saying in the video, but I didn't want to make this video so long, so, you know, because I can talk, 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 and it, it was difficult, like, editing this video, because I had so many clips from the previous days that I, <laughs> it was just a lot. But anyway, I was just saying like my skin feels hydrated and I didn't really have any problems with anything. But anyway, I'm going to share with you my feedback in a couple minutes. So see you later on, okay? Okay, guys. So uh, this is my skin. This is our skin after seven days. As I said before, my skin, it doesn't feel any way. Does it feel hydrated? Yes, it is hydrated. Uh, does it feel irritated? No, it isn't irritated. What else? What else can I say about these products? They were, they were good to me in terms of my experience. These products for me personally though, they're not going to be the in, like ingredients that are going to treat any any skin issues for example or any major skin issues for example acne they're not good to me i have to use other stuff for my acne um what else they're not going to treat hyperpigmentation they're going to assist with the treating um, hyperpigmentation. So that's one thing to note. All right, the next thing is these products are for people who don't necessarily have a problem with um, fruit extracts or people who don't have a problem with fragrance in their skincare. Because artificial fragrance, this is the only product, or no, 
this product is or the serum this is the only product that has artificial fragrance all right the ingredients in these products are actually very excellent excellent ingredients but it's the only product that has artificial fragrance and as i said before the fragrance is the last ingredient on the ingredient list so in truth and in fact it shouldn't necessarily affect you but if you have a, fra a fragrance sensitivity i would not recommend this all right yes i would not necessarily recommend this but if you are fragrance does not affect you and you actually like when skincare products are cosmetically pleasing then i would say yes you can go ahead and try it because it's hydrating it's nice i would say all right so this is the only one that has that has artificial fragrance all of the rest of the products they have fruit extracts they're fragrance but natural fruit extracts all right the green the sika green serum this one has alcohol and i think because i was looking for it to have like some kind of niacinamide or zinc or something to that nature so i think it is the alcohol that is helping to to prevent dryness because i was looking for it has i think it has does it have green tea i think it should have green tea yes it has green tea so the green tea the green tea helps it to control sebum and then I think the alcohol helps the product to be easily absorbed into the skin. But know that alcohol is the one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six ingredient on the ingredient list. And this doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to dry out your skin because it's a serum it's a hydrating serum it's a calming soothing serum so of course it's it's hydrating and you saw it when i applied it to my skin it's a hydrating serum so it's not going to dry out your skin you know what i'm saying but i guess this the alcohol in this product is supposed to help with the absorption how quick the product is absorbed basically and then we also have um some amazing ingredients ceramide and so forth and as i said before it has avocado fruit extract and pear fruit extract so i wouldn't say this is a bad serum but as i said before if you have any sensitivity to smell and so forth then i would say you know you don't necessarily need this there are other products similar to this that have all the same ingredients but this didn't give me any problems as you can see didn't i didn't experience any problems after seven days but as i said before it has pear extract and avocado extract and the smell is um obvious in it mm? but it smells good but as i said before if you have sensitivity to smell then just ignore it don't even look at it you don't even have to pay attention or listen to me all right now the cleanser the cleanser has a lot of um fruit oil bergamot oil a lot of fruity extract sweet cherry oil, um extract orange peel extract grapefruit peel extract lemon um fruit extract but those are right after niacin so it has what at the top of the ingredient it has water betaine cocoa betaine glycerine niacinamide and then after then you have all the fruit extracts or the orange peel and so forth now if you have a sensitivity to extracts or fragrance natural fragrance then i also would say try something else they have various products in their line they have the skin holes they have xy cost they have cosier so if you want to try any other cleanser you can try them but this is the same to me as this in terms of the texture so this is the reason why i didn't have a problem with it and as i said before the cleanser is to me i don't really have a problem with fragrance in my cleansers and so forth whenever i went to cleanse my face i was like looking forward to you know experiencing that smell that sweet smell so overall if for example i don't necessarily purchase skincare with obvious fragrance in them or fruit extracts or anything like that i always try to stay away from them because i don't really personally it's not something that i like or something that i enjoy so 
you know it's not like I need it in my skincare it's not something that is necessary in my skincare especially since I have acne prone skin I don't know what can irritate my skin you know what I'm saying but that doesn't mean that I'm going to try to scare people and oh it has alcohol don't use it it has fragrance it's bad no not because things has fragrance or alcohol mean it means that it's it's bad it just means that people have different skin types and people have different skin conditions you know what i'm saying and skin and different things that can irritate the skin if you find out that alcohol irritates your skin alcohol in any skincare whether it's for viscosity whether it's for the product to be absorbed or whatever if that irritates your skin you stay far away from that if alcohol doesn't irritate your skin and you apply it to your skin products with alcohol to your skin and it doesn't irritate your skin or dry it out go right ahead mm -hmm. right and if fruit extracts like whatever oil bergamot oil and those things irritate your skin i really don't like those oil lavender in my skincare bergamot and i don't even like the smell of lavender oil i don't like them in my skincare all right if those things um affect you then i would say leave them alone but if you like cosmetically pleasing skincare and you like when they have a little fragrance just you know encourages you to continue to use the product or they just calm you and soothe you go right ahead all right good and then this now it has some capsules it has some beads some vitamin c beads so i like it when it comes to all of the products what would i if I was supposed to repurchase anything, I would re repurchase this. Why? Because I just love snail musing. I just think that it's very nice, good on my skin. My skin likes it. When it comes to this now, the vitamin C, snail, snail musing, collagen and all of that, I think that it didn't do anything bad to my skin because I didn't see anything. It just, it it's almost similar to the Cosier snail musing. The only thing is this has, this has um, orange peel extract. That's the only difference. And it has like the vitamin C beads. That's it. But I would say they're similar. Yeah, that's it. So if I was supposed to repurchase anything from this experience, I would repurchase this, this one, the moisturizer, and I would repurchase the cleanser. These are the two products I would repurchase. Nothing is wrong with the serum, this one, but, yeah. Mm -hmm. And also the toner. I would, I, would, I would try to get the toner, but I would also encourage Cosier. You don't necessarily need fragrance in this. Like, you know what I'm saying? You don't really need fragrance in this. It's a nice toner, but you don't really need the fragrance. The fragrance is not necessary. Like, mm -mm, it's not necessary because it's a nice toner. So I like it. Yes, I would repurchase all three of these just if Cosier decides that they want, they, you know, decides to take all the fragrance out of this. This would be an excellent toner. This kind of reminds me of the, um, the Cosrx, Cos Cosrx, it's the Blackhead Power Liquid. It reminds me of Blackhead Power Liquid. The only difference with this and Blackhead Power Liquid is this, if this didn't have any fragrance it would literally be the blackhead power liquid <laughs> literally so i would i would repurchase these on the i would repurchase these even though they have you know the fruit extracts the orange peel or orange mandarin fruit extracts i would repurchase these because i like this i like snail musin i like this and the cleanser is nice i enjoy the cleanser this i also enjoy just you know, I would encourage them to take out the fragrance because it's not necessary. And the serum too. If the serum didn't have any fragrance too, the, the pear. I mean, the pear is nice, to be honest. I don't know. The pear is nice. It smells good. Yeah. But as I said before, I don't quickly purchase skincare with fragrance in it. Like, if I check it, if, I check in, if I'm checking the skincare and I see fragrance in it, I'm not going to like, oh, I'm going to buy this. You know, like all the good ingredients, as soon as I see fragrance, I'm like, no. You know what I'm saying? So I would say this is for people who are not affected by fragrance. That's pretty much it. But they have a lot of good ingredients on my skin. Does, it doesn't look bad or anything. It feels good, nice and hydrated. And even though I use the essence and everything on my skin, for a person with combination skin and prone skin, daytime now, my skin is not oily. 
So this is my experience, guys. I hope this was informative and you got enough information about each of these products. So if for some reason you see them and you want to purchase them, just take into consideration everything that I have told you and so forth, all right? But this is it for our trial. Yes, this is how I feel about the products. And uh, let me know how you enjoyed it. And see you in the next one. <laughs> Alright, so see you in the next one.